The best way to understand what's going on is to look at the frequency response of the camera. Here's the response of a camera with a 180 degree shutter. It's just a fact of life and mathematics that a system running at 24 frames per second can only reproduce frequencies up to 12 hertz. What we want is flat response in the baseband, the region below 12 hertz. Think of this as the camera's ability to have good contrast for things that blink at different frequencies. A light blinking on and off at 12 times per second will have about 90% the contrast of a light blinking once per second. Above that, in what we call the aliasing band, we want the response to be as low as possible because anything in this band will become distortions and noise in our image. Real world signals up here will get mangled and folded into the baseband. This is temporal aliasing. The standard 180 degree shutter has good baseband response, but quite a lot of aliasing. The 360 degree shutter has less aliasing, but drops a lot in the baseband. That's why 360 degree shutters make the scene look smooth and dreamy. Things moving or changing quickly lose contrast. Take a look at the response of the TESSIF time filter system. It combines excellent baseband response while effectively eliminating aliasing. This is the key to better imaging.